building strong relationship with your child is an ongoing process. It's something that continues until we leave this world. So it's important to know how to build your relationship with your child. Starting early and having a good relationship with them will also help you in your old age. So I am going to be sharing with you some points on how to make sure you have a good relationship with your child, regardless of their age. To a child, love is spelled time. The time you spend with a child tells them how much you love them. So it doesn't matter the number of things you buy for them. It may really be enticing them in their early years. But as they grow, they begin to see the vacuum. They feel the vacuum of you not being present. And they begin to see the present you buy for them as a very terrible alternative for your presence. So it's very important to know that time is essential in a child's life. Spending time with your child will help you to be able to know what they really want, who they really are, how you can help them, and how their life can be better. So time is the number one thing when you need to build a relationship with your child. Another thing is open communication. You know, you need to let your child speak as well. Because you are the parent doesn't mean that you are the one that knows it all. Your child may have more information than you. One of the best ways to help your relationship with your child is to allow for open communication. Let them be able to speak to you about anything. Don't be too judgmental. Don't be quick to just shut them out. Let them be able to speak up. Open communication is another thing you don't want to miss out when it comes to building a good relationship with your child. Another thing you need to do is positive regards. Let your child know that you love them. Let them know that you cherish them. It's not until they do something that you profess love to them. Say it to them even when they've done wrong, when they're not doing anything, when it appears as if they're just there. Tell them how much they mean to you, how much you really appreciate them, how much you enjoy them being in your life. Let them know that you can treat them for the world, you know. These things will help them to have this intimate relationship with you and also help them to know that they have somebody to run back to even when things are a bit messy. Set boundaries. Yes, even though you want to show them you love them, you need to set boundaries. Children work with routine and instructions. So you need to be able to tell them what their boundaries are, what they're allowed to do and what they're not allowed to do. If you allow your child to get, get away with everything, they will love you for a while, but it will not last for a lifetime. They will get to a stage in their life when they begin to see you as the enemy because they will know that you have refused to put right values in them. So set boundaries for them and let them know there are consequences for things that they do. This will also help you to build a very good relationship with them. Be a safe space for them. Don't be judgmental. Let them be able to open up to you. It's good to allow your child to be vulnerable before you sometimes. It's better for them to be able to speak about their weaknesses to you than any other person. So create that safe space for them. Even though it might hurt you, there's some things that they will tell you. Open your heart. Be empathetic. Let them know that you feel their pain. You know they're struggling to make things work and that you're there for them. Another thing I will always recommend is I celebrate their victories. You know, some of the parents are used to always saying the wrong things the, ch the child has done. Your child needs to be celebrated, even the little victories. Um, I can remember a time when my little son was biting his fingernails. And I just spoke to him. We've been telling him, don't bite your fingernail. And this day I just told him, you know, you can do this. And after some weeks, I saw his fingers. I was like, how did you achieve this? He said, I just stopped biting it. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so proud of you. I love this. And that little thing did something to him. It helped him to, to know that I, I, I cherish his effort that is able to overcome these things that, become, that has become an habit for him. Another thing I like to say is that show empathy. That nurture their interest. Does your child like to read or let's say your child likes to write books? 
whatever they write, keep it for them. Whatever your child has interest in, cherish it, no choice. Help them grow it, help them get better. That is one of the ways you can help build a very good relationship with your child. Your child knowing that you really love what they do will help them to focus more. They will want to make you proud. So not their interest, whatever they have interest in. Um, in my previous video, I've spoken about how to help your child achieve purpose. You can go back and watch this as it will guide you to be able to know what their interest is and how you can help them nurture it. Oh, another important thing as a parent, there is these characteristics you must possess and that is patience. Children are so, so great that if you are not patient, you will mismanage them and you may eventually destroy them. So you need to be very patient with them. Give them time. They will make mistakes. That doesn't mean that they're bad children. They will do things that are not right sometimes. Be patient with them. Help them to get out of the pit. Don't leave them there. Don't get too annoyed and abandon them. Be patient with them. You need patience to deal with your children. It is so important. By incorporating this tip and tailoring them to your family life will actually help you to be able to build a very good relationship with your children. One thing that I always talk about that can never fail is prayers. Pray for your child. Pray for their mind. Pray for their heart. Pray every time for them. Let them know you are praying for them. Let them know you're always there for them. Most of us, we always think, oh, we've got prayerful parents. Are you that prayerful parent that your child will look at in a few years' time and say, oh, my mom prayed for me. Oh, my mom prays for me. Oh, my mom is still praying for me. Pray for them. It is very important. I hope this tips has really helped you. I hope you've learned something from it. Yeah, I would like you to drop a comment. That is a feedback for me to know that this thing works for you and you've tried it and it works. I would like you to drop a comment and don't forget to share. Don't for forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on that notification button. And don't forget to tell your friend to follow, tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. God bless you.